Hello, everyone. My name is Yang Huan. I'm from Chongqing University. I'm very glad to be here today. My topic is improving personalized project recommendation on GitHub based on deep matrix factorization. I will explain to you from the following four aspects. First, let me explain the background of this paper. First, there are many software projects. It is necessary to recommend projects to developers. As we all know, GitHub is a hosting platform for open source software projects where developers can share their projects with others. However, as the software projects increase, it becomes difficult for developers to find software projects that meet their needs or interests. Second, the previous studies mainly focused on content-based recommendation methods. They mostly consider the project itself for recommendation, such as the seminarity and the popularity of projects, while ignoring the personalized needs of users. Therefore, we proposed a personalized recommendation method based on deep matrix factorization to solve these problems. First, we score user behavior based on their actions to integrate user behavior and generate a user project matrix, which can make our recommendation results more personalized and meet users' needs better. Second, we use DMF model to fully combine users' explicit and implicit feedback, which captures users' potential preference. In this way, we can improve the accuracy of recommendations. Next, I will describe some of the details of our method. As is shown in this picture, our method consists of three parts, data connection, recommender system, and evaluation. First, we downloaded the data from GitHub and pre-processed it. Second, we built a user project matrix based on user behavior. Then, we perform DMF on the user project matrix to obtain the predicted value for pair of user and project. Finally, recommend a sorted list of projects for developers. At last, we evaluate the effectiveness of our methods with accuracy, precision, recall, and F1. In the data connection part, we downloaded the data from January 2016 to June 2019 on GitHub with the use of GH torrent. According to the entities such as table projects and users, and relationships such as created from and fork from in projects, the data can be processed into a form of user ID, project ID, create, fork, star. In the recommender system part, first, we assign different scores to user behavior 
and generate the user project mix tree Y, which shows in the red box. According to this formula, users' behaviors on GitHub often contain create, fork, and star. Different behavior represent different level of interest in projects. We score behaviors according to their level of interest. Second, we take Y as input to the deep matrix factorization. Use two neural networks to transform the vectors of users, UI and items PJ, and map them to a common low dimensional vector space respectively. In this way, we can explore the relationship between users and items and learn the potential behavior preference of users in this tenant space and get the latent representation. Finally, score prediction is made through cosine. In addition, to meet our requirements, we modified the loss function of original model. Map yij closely to between 0.5 and 1 through the s function. In this way, we can avoid the error caused by large difference of rating in the pro in the user project matrix. Next, our experiments. These two tables show our datasets and evaluation metric. We extracted user behavior and projects into four groups as our datasets. The first three groups are extracted from three organizations on GitHub. VIM, Jeep, Formidable, and Harvest. In the last group, we extracted 2,263 active GitHub users and more than 70,000 related projects and randomly selected 60% of user behavior data as input, use the remaining 40% of the data for evaluation. We use evaluation metrics such as accuracy, recall, precision, and F1 to verify the effectiveness of our recommendation method. The formula of each metric can be seen in the table. U represents all users in the test data. N represents the sum of the number of software projects we recommend for each other. Test represents the number of software projects in the test set that have interact with users. Top N represents the number of software items recommend for each, uh, for each user. To answer the RQ1, we compare our recommendation results with those of ICF, UCF, and a personalized project recommendation method PPR. We can see that our method has better performance than other comparative methods. However, on groups of Formidable and VIM Jeep, as the number of users and projects increase, we can observe a corresponding increase in the accuracy of UCF. The reason 
behind this may be that the increase of user behavior leads to an increase in user relevance, which makes it easy for UCF to find more similar users. So, we did the statistic test. We can see the p-values of Friedman test above sub-figures are all less than 0 0.05, which means that there exist significant differences among the four methods. And the Nemini test results show that DMF method ranks higher on average than other three methods. It means that our method performs better than other business methods on all indicators. To answer the RQ2, we carry out the experiments where k is assigned to 50, 100, 150, and 200 respectively with fixed value top n equal 10. In this page, we can see when k increase, there is a slight volatility about accuracy, precision, recall, and F1, which may cause by the problem of overfitting. As for the effect of top N, we can get it from table 3 and table 4. On the one hand, all indicators are growing with increasing of top N. Obviously, when the number of recommend items increase, the target items in the test set are more likely to appear in recommended list. On the other hand, as the number of items in data set increase, the recall decreases due to that we must recommend top N items. Now, I will make some conclusion. In this paper, we proposed a narrow collaborative filtering recommendation method based on use behavior. We generated a user project matrix by scoring different actions of users. Then, we used deep matrix factorization to capture users' talent performance, preference, and uh, obtained an abstract data representation from the sparse vector. Finally, we predicted scores based on the representation vector and automatically recommended the top N software projects to developers. The experimental results illustrated that our method obtained better results compared with the other three baseline methods. In the future, we plan to extend more user behavior features such as watch and pull request to optimism, optimize our method. In addition, we will also consider the impact of item factors. Here are our references.
Thank you for listening.